He has his own show in Vegas, and he is the 2007 winner of America's Got Talent. He is never lonely because he is always surrounded by friends. And we welcome Terry Fader to the Morning Blend. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for having us. Oh, it's nice to be here. And don't forget Winston the impersonating turtle. I know. And right. Winston, you were actually the winning act. Congratulations. Yes, I was. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, the, uh, Winston did not exist before America's Got Talent. I, really? I actually was doing this uh, Kermit the Frog impression. And I, when, I, when I got on America's Got Talent, I wanted to do it, and I really believed it would get me through to the next round. And so I called up the Muppets, and I said, is it okay if I do Kermit? And he said, no, absolutely not. Nobody's oh. allowed to do Kermit except Kermit. So, uh, so I, I was a little uh, devastated and wondering what I was going to do. And luckily, he, he walked by this pond, and I stuck my head up and said, Hi ho, come a deep frog here. Right, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. And uh, and Winston's the one who did it. And of course, he won the show because he did. Mm -hmm. Crying over you. He Do did you crying. just love singing that song? I just love singing any song. What's your favorite song to sing? Oh, it would have to be. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. So he likes, uh, obviously, What a Wonderful World. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful world. It's a good tune. Now, how difficult, Terry, is it for you to constantly be changing voices? I mean, you just probably did like three <laughs> or four impressions just right there. It's not hard at all. I have ADD, so I think it, that helps a lot. Uh, you know, my brain just is always going in, in different. It, it drives my poor wife out of her mind because she'll be talking to me and I'm already thinking about something three, you know, th mm -hmm. three sentences ahead. And, and I'll say, what did you just say? And she said, I'm not repeating it. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you missed it the first time, then that's you just right. missed it. That's <laughs> right. And that's really bad for somebody with ADD because we, you know, my brain is just always constantly fixating on anything and boy, don't even don't ever put anything shiny in front of me because I, I you've lost me then. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw the a YouTube video of your very first act on America's Got Talent. And what was it? Emma Taylor? Emma Taylor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Emma Taylor, and she's in the, she's in the show that we'll be doing here in Tucson tonight. Okay. And uh, in fact, it, I'm so excited. I love. We were just talking about this before uh, the show, and that I love doing the road show because what I do is I, I recreate. Uh, how I went from being a janitor in Texas, which is what I started out as, mm -hmm. to headlining my own show at the Mirage. And a lot of people wonder, what's it like to be on America's Got Talent? Well, if they come to the show tonight, they're going to find out exactly what it was like because I literally recreate it right there on stage and let people see and, and t explain to them how I was feeling as I went through each stage. And we, uh, I, I do the routines, and then we'll play the judge's response mm -hmm. and, and then how it felt to have that. So it's amazing. But you want to do... Uh, uh, now, Winston C. is impersonating Turtles. He does everything. So oh. you want to do what Emma did? Yeah. Terry walked out on stage with Emma Taylor. Right. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget, David Hasselhoff said, uh, oh, no, a ventriloquist. I was going to ask you about that because he that did. was part of the YouTube. Were you just, like, deflated? Not or at, at like, all. No, actually, you know second. what? I knew what was going to, I okay. knew what was coming. So I actually thought, I got him right where I want him, you know, because <laughs> yes. they think I'm going to be bad. <laughs> and so Emma, yeah, you want to do Emma? Yeah, I'll, I'll pretend I'm Emma. Okay. okay. And so Emma, he said, Ella. My love has come alone. So that's what happened. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that happened, uh, David Hasselhoff stood up. Mm -hmm. And that's hard for David Hasselhoff. Yeah. Uh, yes. well, no, it's not. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It was a truly an amazing moment, and I think even just watching that YouTube clip, I was like, when you started singing, well, Emma, but Winston, you did it oh. exactly like her. You're very oh, talented you. as well. Thank it you. was jaw dropping thank that you. That you can <laughs> truly do that and have the range that you have with really not, not even moving your lips. Thank you. I, you know, it's interesting because just yesterday I was, uh, I, I don't remember, I mean, oh, I know what I was doing. I was checking out a, a video because we have a contest. So if there's any ventriloquists out there in Tucson, uh, we have a contest and uh, my wife and I will fly uh, two people to the Vent Haven convention in Cincinnati because I never could afford it when I was young. Mm -hmm. So uh, I decided now that I'm a headliner in Vegas, I'm going to help other people who can't afford it to get there. So uh, you just go to terryfader.com slash scholarship and you can try to win the scholarship. But I was looking at this and then as soon as I finished it, you know, because I was going to prove it and mm -hmm. tell them, yeah, it was fine. And, and it, it popped up my first audition, just what you just said. So I watched it and I thought, my gosh, it's seven years ago. How how different it was, but I still remember what it felt like to be that guy, you know, and I watch America's Got Talent now, and mm -hmm. I think, I think, oh, I remember how that felt, and I don't, I would never do it again. <laughs> right. oh. It's just, it's, I didn't have these great hairs before America <laughs> yes. got talent. And now you do, right? I do, yes. Can you teach anyone 
to be a ventriloquist? You know, you can. Uh, anyone can do it. It's just uh, there to, to be really, really good at it, you kind of have to have a certain uh, shape of mouth, and you have to have a tongue that is able to recreate the sounds of, like, what your lips would normally do. So, like, there are certain letters you can't say without moving your lips, like P and B and M. Oh, and so, oh. you know, but you, you can. Yeah, uh, watch this. I'll do it without moving my lips. Peter Piper take the pack of pickled peppers. There it is. Perfect. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. So, and I'm, they had a close up on Winston, but actually my lips weren't moving either. I know so, they yeah. were. That's, I was like, that's amazing. I was watching yeah. you. Sorry. Winston. Yeah, the cameraman thinks I'm real. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about what people can expect at your show tonight. How many friends have you oh, brought with you? Oh, we've got about uh, six or seven. I don't know. I, I don't count them. I just, you know, we just do them. But uh, the show starts out with me on stage with a mop, okay. mopping the stage. And, and then I, I look at the audience because what I did was, the, the way I got started doing this was, I would mop, uh, and I was a janitor, and I would mop and clean toilets, and I didn't want to do that, so I'd practice my ventriloquism while I was doing that. And I would start, I would practice singing while I was mopping and cleaning toilets. And then if, if I noticed somebody else was there and I was vacuuming, I didn't want them to know I was singing, I would do it without moving my lips. Okay. So that's really how I learned how to do it. And I take, uh, take uh, my audience through the journey of how I, did, how I got my first puppet, uh, the first routines I started doing, and it's just so much fun. So uh, I know, and you know what? You're gonna leave inspired. I think, I, I think people are gonna leave my show not only on a high feeling amazing and feeling like they've just been entertained, but I think they're gonna go home and start practicing their hobbies again. Well, I actually kind of want to try practicing this. Okay, so I'm not gonna move my lips. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try it. Winston, what should I say? You should. Well, I don't know. Do the next segment. Say, oh, thank you so much for coming. It's nice to see you here. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Bing, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me try it again. Okay. <laughs> Is that working? No, no, I'll try it. Okay, here. <laughs> 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 so, Winston, are you telling me I should just stick to my day job? Is that I what think you're telling so. me? Leave the professionalism to you. Definitely. <laughs> this has been a blast. Thank you both it's so Thank much you. for joining us. Thank you for having so us. so much fun Thank at you. your show tonight. And congratulations to you. Thank you. And Terry Bader has a show tonight starting at 8 p.m. at Ava Amphitheater at Casino del Sol. To get your tickets, just go online to CasinoDelSolResort.com. And to learn more about Terry, you can go to his website, TerryFader.com. I'm still ahead on the morning blend. <laughs> nope, I guess that's gone. I'm still ahead on the morning blend. We'll tell you all the happenings in Hollywood. Plus, we'll taste the newest frozen treat from the Dairy Queen.